Hi, my name is Mason. Welcome to my channel, Bread and Babies. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a kombucha scoby from scratch. It's pretty simple and you'll only need a few ingredients. Kombucha is so great for you. It's a powerful probiotic and it's great to have on hand. But buying a bottle at the store will run you about $4 for 16 ounces. So I'm gonna teach you how to make this and save a little bit of money. To get started, you will need a gallon sized jar, a tea towel or coffee filters, rubber bands, black tea bags, organic sugar, and water, and grab, next time you're at the store, unflavored kombucha. I recommend getting the GT's original. Grab your supplies and make a scoby with me. Okay, so we're going to get started now. Make sure that you have your gallon sized jar sanitized. I like to boil some water and pour it over the jar after I wash it with soap and water just to make sure that it's nice and sanitized. With your kombucha, you want to keep everything clean so that only helpful bacteria grow and harmful bacteria do not grow. Your first step is going to be making sweet tea. Add seven cups of water to a pot and bring that to a boil. Then add half a cup of sugar. Stir that until all the granules are dissolved and turn your heat off. Next, add four black tea bags. Make sure those are totally submerged and let that steep for at least 15 minutes. Add that to a gallon sized jar. Don't spill it like I did though. And let that come to room temperature. When it comes to room temperature, add one cup of unflavored kombucha. Cover it with a tea towel or coffee filter and secure it with a rubber band. Then you will need to store this in a dark environment that is between 68 and 72 degrees. In one to four weeks, you should have a scoby that looks like this and it should be about a quarter inch thick. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can learn how to make kombucha soon.